Formula One is one of the most dangerous motorsports you could possibly participate in, but that doesn't come without its own perks. For example, the F1 drivers are some of the highest paid athletes in the world, and you'd be amazed when you learn the amount of money that the top drivers earn in a year, such as Verstappen, Hamilton and Alonso. To top that off, they have a lot of commercial contracts with companies that are related to their respective teams, so all things considered, their personal collections correspond with the amount of money they earn. I guess putting your life on the line every week does provide you with enough cash to make a living, right? So let's start with the least earning drivers, such as Yuki Tsunoda. Although he's facing one of the toughest challenges in his career right now, proving that he's made out of F1 material, Sonoda doesn't make that much money if you compare him to the rest of the grid, and this might go to the fact that he's driving one of the worst cars on the grid, the AT04. As of 2023, Sonoda earns $1 million per year, but that doesn't mean he doesn't want to enjoy the sports car that the Japanese manufacturer Honda, with which he has a very close relationship, provides to his porch. Yuki owns a Civic Type R, which produces 306 horsepower and 295 pounds of torque, going from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.1 seconds and achieving a top speed of 169 miles per hour. Furthermore, he owns a Honda NSX that goes by a price tag of $171,495 and this beast produces 573 horsepower and 406 pound-feet of torque, powered by a 3.5-litre twin turbocharged V6 engine, going from 0 to 60 in 2.7 seconds. I guess Tsunoda knows where to take his anger from the bad races in F1. Another driver who earned $1 million in 2023 is Logan Sargent, who is still in his rookie deal with Williams, and considering that he's one of the three drivers that is yet to score points in Formula 1, I guess this money is even more than he deserves. There's nothing much known about the private life of Sargent, apart from the fact that he moved to Lugano, Switzerland with his family when he was 12, because his family wanted to support the racing desires of his brother Dalton. Logan's fortunes come from his uncle, Harry Sargent III, who's a billionaire from Florida who makes his money in the energy and shipping business. Therefore, it's safe to assume that the American driver is not highly dependent on the million dollars he's making this year from Williams. Oscar Piastri, although a sensational rookie, is making just $2 million in 2023, and considering the fact that his contract will be up for renewal soon, there's no doubt that the Aussie will be in for a huge payday. His current net worth is $1.5 million, which, considering the fact that he's only 22 years old, is something he could definitely brag about to his friends. But his private collection isn't something he could brag about, and while he has 34 points to his name in his rookie season, there isn't much going on in his financial plans. Maybe he's waiting to earn that big paycheck before he buys his own McLaren, just like his friend and teammate Lando. Another driver who earns $2 million annually is Joe, and the Alfa Romeo driver comes with a little bit of an interesting perspective on the sport. He has his own sponsor list. He's one of the most hated drivers when he replaced Giovinazzi due to the fact that he was considered a pay driver, but his performance was enough to shut down all of the critics in the sport. Joe's net worth is around $5 million, and he has his own personal sponsors, such as the luxury watch company Hublot, with which he signed a deal in March 2018 and is one of their main ambassadors. He also represents Playseat, a company which he joined as an ambassador in early 2021. There's also Fanatec, Puma, China Guan Yu Automobile Holdings, Henji Group and more. Therefore, Joe's fortune comes mostly from his contracts with the brands he's currently an ambassador for, and if he continues with a steady rise on the track, then there's no doubt that he'll be in for a huge paycheck from both his sponsors and Alfa Romeo. Nico Hülkenberg signed a contract with Haas at the beginning of this year, after being sidelined for three years, and the $2 million he's earning may not seem like a huge amount of money for a veteran. However, being that long in the sport comes with its own advantages, and Hülkenberg doesn't rely on his salary that much. His parents own a shipping company, Hülkenberg Spedition, and his net worth in 2023 is $40 million. So it's clear that the Hulk does have a nice time in Haas, especially if he continues to outperform Magnussen and shows that he still has it in himself, which would even bring more cash to his bank account from the sponsors and the American team. 
Lance Stroll is officially on a $2 million contract with Aston Martin. But because his father owns the team, I highly doubt that this is the only amount he's receiving from the Silverstone-based team. His net worth is $50 million, and he earns a lot of money from endorsements like JCB, Canadian Life, Stylo, Bombardier, etc from which it's estimated that he earns around $10 million annually. Not bad for a billionaire's son, right? After all, he does drive a Mercedes AMG GTR, a Ferrari California, an Aston Martin Vantage, and a Lamborghini Huracan. So there's no doubt that Stroll is one of the most spoiled drivers on the grid, considering how badly he performs. Alex Albon brought Williams to a place they couldn't have hoped for, standing at P7 in the Constructors' Championship. But even with such a great feature, he earns barely $3 million per year. Yes, his contract is up for renewal in 2024, and he's still on a loan from Red Bull. But considering how steady he's been for the UK-based team, he's certainly expecting a massive paycheck to his name from 2025 onwards. Albon is one of the most humble drivers on the grid. His net worth is currently estimated at $3 million, and some of the assets he owns are the Aston Martin Vantage F1, worth $162,000, the Aston Martin DB11, worth $246,000, and the Honda Civic Type R, worth $46,000. Humble on the inside, humble on the outside. Now, a driver who will definitely need to pay close attention to his figures in 2023 is Kevin Magnussen, because they might be the last ones he'll receive in the sport after his poor performance in the current campaign. Magnussen hasn't been able to impress at all in Haas, and given the fact that he earns $5 million annually, it goes without saying that a lot more was expected from him. However, the Dane knows how to live life, and that definitely comes from the vast experience he's had outside of F1 racing as well. The Vikings' net worth is estimated to be around $30 million, and the fact that he owns a $1 million Lamborghini Aventador and a $3 million Bugatti Chiron speaks volumes about his love for cars. To top that off, Magnussen lives in a 6,900 square foot luxury house located in Roskilde, Denmark, that he bought for around $10 million. What can I say? The guy can afford to perform poorly because he's made quite a living from F1. Moving to the big guns, we have Fernando Alonso, who, although a two-time world champion, is earning the same amount of money as Magnussen in 2023. The Spaniard has his own museum, with more than 300 cars on display, including the cars from Le Mans and F1, which is definitely the most unique fact about Nando. His net worth is estimated to be a whopping $240 million, which shouldn't surprise us at all, considering the fact that he invests in a lot of properties and clothing brands, and his own car collection includes a Lamborghini, Porsche, and Ferrari. I guess after this successful season, Alonso could certainly look forward to increasing his net worth by a couple of million dollars. George Russell has become famous for his talent in Formula 2, winning the championship and then outperforming Hamilton in their first season as teammates in Mercedes, and that did earn him a hefty contract of $8 million per year. However, he's yet to renew his contract at the end of the season, meaning that he'll be paid much more than this, and his current net worth of $18 million is guaranteed to witness a massive increase. And the 25-year-old knows how to spice things up in his life. Owning a McLaren GT worth $800,000, a Mercedes-Benz AMG GT worth $1 million, a Ferrari 812 Red worth around $950,000, a Bentley Bentayga worth around $850,000, and a steady BMW X6 worth just $180,000. To top that off, he has a collection of expensive watches such as Blancpain, Breguet and Phil, Patek Philippe, Hublot, and FP Jeune, with the Hublot piece being the most expensive one in his collection at a whopping $600,000. Carlos Sainz is yet another interesting figure that earns a lot of money at Ferrari, $12 million per year. But now that he's fully focused on renewing his contract with the Maranello team, this number is very likely to rise in the foreseeable future. The smooth operator comes from a racing family, with his father also being a racer for Audi in the Rally Dakar series, meaning that he does have close connections with the companies that are sponsoring the motorsport categories. The Spaniard's net worth in 2023 is estimated to be $49 million, and most of that comes from his real estate investments in Spain and Italy, as well as his being the ambassador of Estrella Galicia. 
Furthermore, he's the official ambassador for Ferrari, and that includes him owning a Ferrari 812 worth around $950,000, a Ferrari Roma worth around $680,000, a McLaren 720S from his McLaren days worth $1 million, a Bentley Continental GT worth around $900,000, a Mercedes-Benz AMG GT worth around $815,000, as well as a Roger Dubuis and Frank Muller worth $260,000 and $250,000 each. Not bad for a number two driver in Ferrari, right? Not to waste your time, we move directly to his teammate, who was rumored to sign a contract with Ferrari that would earn him around 185 million euros until 2029. Right now, that's yet to be confirmed, but what's certain is that he earns around $24 million with the current contract he has, which makes his net worth around $125 million as of 2023. Most of the money that Leclerc earns outside of F1 is from Ricard Mille, and the Monegas is also a brand ambassador for Giorgio Armani. Leclerc also has his own limited edition Ray-Ban sunglasses. Furthermore, his stunning Ferrari supercar collection is something that catches the attention of every car fanatic. Leclerc has a Ferrari SF90 Stradale, a Ferrari 488 Pista Spider, a Ferrari Roma, a Ferrari SF90, as well as the Ferrari 812 Superfast. I guess loyalty pays off if you think about it. And this video wouldn't be complete without Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen, as we save the best for last. Let's start with a lesser earning athlete, Lewis Hamilton, as the seven-time world champion is currently earning $35 million in 2023 and is yet to continue his contract, with rumors saying that he would earn around $50 million per year for his loyalty to Mercedes. The current net worth of Hamilton as of 2023 is $285 million, but if rumors are to be believed, he's poised to be the first billionaire in the sport if he signs the two-year contract with Mercedes and the 10-year ambassadorial contract with the Silver Arrows. Nonetheless, he's living in the moment, and that moment involves a lot of endorsement, as Lewis Hamilton has built a business empire outside of the racing circuit. He has his own film production company, an impressive Manhattan penthouse, in a building owned by NFL legend Tom Brady, estimated to be worth around $49.5 million. Lewis's brand endorsements feature prominent entities such as Tibco, Wiuri, L'Oreal, Union Bank of Switzerland, and Epson. Furthermore, he also owns his private jet, as well as a hotel on a luxury Caribbean beach resort worth around £20 million. And last but not least, we have the world champion and soon-to-be three-time world champion Max Verstappen, who earns a whopping $55 million annually and will continue to do so until 2028 with his new contract. Beating Hamilton in 2021 has been the breaking point of his career and it seems like he's turned up the game a little bit further after that season, which doesn't come without its own perks. Verstappen's current net worth is estimated to be $210 million, but this number will vastly change in the upcoming years due to the upcoming seasons and his collaborations with a lot of marketing agencies and promoting other brands, such as Jumbo, G-Star, Carnex.com, Ziggo, Puma, etc. Currently, Verstappen also has his own private jet, the Dassault Falcon 900EX that's worth around $12 million, with a luxurious jet also requiring $1 to $2 million per year in maintenance costs. So, what do you think about the highest earning athletes in Formula 1? Let us know in the comments down below.